Hello, Slackham family. We did a little bit of searching this morning. This was from yesterday. Morels and oysters. Even baby oysters. Mason decided that he found some and he wanted to grab a hold of them. As young as they are, I think they're going to end up very, very, very delicious. Whoa. We are in the kitchen at the Slackham family. And I am getting these morels and these oysters prepared as we speak. You got the grill going outside for the steaks. Mom wanted steaks. That's what she gets. Cleaned them, bathed them. Going to take the spore water back to our location for next year. It's going to make it that much cooler. Because hopefully they decide to spore out. I don't know. I don't really know all the genus stuff. I really don't. I just know they taste darn delicious. Some would say you should clean them off some more, Rick. But I think that adds character to the Mother's Day surprise. Yep. Never hurt with a little grit. Boy. Maybe I'll dust them. I'll dust them again. Oh boy. They are very juicy. I can't actually wait to bite into every single one of these because they're going to be epic. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's a rumpled stiltskin. But there's a decent. Oh boy. It's hard to choose from which one I want to start with. How do y'all prepare your morels we've got the steaks here for her dinner sitting on some original Kingsford smoky shake and uh, a little bit of black powder black pepper powder I should say salt garlic pretty good stuff we're gonna throw it on the patio bistro here pretty soon and we're going to have it sizzle. Yeah, I always preheat my oven. Oh, look at that. Nice and smoky hot. Oh my gosh. I know it's not an oven. It's a grill, guys. Put you on here. One, two, three. Cover. Turn the heat down to... Uh, like two and a half because this thing gets out of hand. Quick, boys! We need a light. Ooh, look, that's a dirty kitchen. Oh, mom's gonna have to clean it. <laughs> okay, anyways, so this is Thermorels. Oil is gonna go in there. Whatever kind of oil you wanna use. And then this is for the fat kid status slash good for you asparagus fat kid status one stick of butter and then the asparagus is over on the table brb we're going for the first quick flip oh they look nice Yeet. oh they're nice all right drink that down to one that temperature down to nothing actually we're just going to leave this sit unplug it and the rest of it will indeed cook 100% add them to it you know what I mean you're gonna turn this on you know high like that and you're just gonna let it go to 10 okay oh. so once you get it going like this it's gonna to start to melt that butter right on down and and we're not looking to cook it so you're gonna to want to just turn your pan down to you know the lowest grade possible just melt the butter first get the butter melted mason's hand is going to go in there and it's going to mm. be delicious because i love baby fingers so what we're doing is we're just taking these oysters and we're just breaking them up into small bits they're going to go into the oil i'm just kidding they're going to go into the butter after look at all the juice oh that's delicious after 
the asparagus. Why couldn't I spit that out? <laughs> So anyway, so we're going to keep some whole. The little ones, of course, we're going to keep nice and whole. They're delicious. Sorry, my hands are dirty. <laughs> there we go. Dang, you can really see that burnt spot. I don't know what it was, but it was sitting there, and it just got darker one day and darker. Anyways, I don't know how much oil that is. About three cups. Maybe three cups. Oh, look, we got the wrong heater on. So... We're going to put it on the little fella. No, that's a bad idea. Okay. We're going to put it back over here. That is hot. <laughs> so, this is going... The oil is going to get to a nice temperature. We're going to throw these baby an egg. One egg. And then, we're going to put them in flour. One cup. And then shake it into a bag. And then they're going to come out something looking like this. Is this a good noise? Helpful hint while you're cooking. Don't rush things. If you open this and it doesn't do anything, like that little bit, don't squeeze. Don't squeeze. Oh, you see that? Yeah. See that? That happens. What you do now is you throw in four or five, maybe six. Put it on. Shake it. I know I said I was going to put it in an egg, but I totally lied. Just because I look, and who doesn't ever have eggs? Me. So. Anything you see? Asparagus. Looking sexy. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Turn that down even more to, like, super, super simmer. And, oh, hey, pretty good. Yeah, dust them off. Now watch how it splash. Oh, that's all right. That's a good temperature with Oh, yeah. Perfect. Just like a hot tub. Come on in, guys. Whoa, don't get spicy on me. Um, all right, and that was it for there. Oh, they smell so good. Oh, and there's another piece. Huh. Get in there. Let him jump a lie in there for a little bit. Just get it in. Look at how juicy those things are. Look at the juice. This isn't staged. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Yep. Give him just a little, little flip ski. Just a little flip ski. What? Flip ski. Flipsky. Flipsky. Get over. Get over. Get over. There we go. Next one's I'm dipping in butter. So the next one we're doing is we're going to kind of double dip this, but it's okay. So we're going to take these and we're going to dip those into that butter, and then we're going to dip them back into here. Then we're going to dip them into there when those are done. Following me? Okay. Grab this. Dip, 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 roll it around. Dip, 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 roll it around. Sploosh, hot tub party. All the ladies are already waiting. They're cooking up, baby. Yummy, yummy. For this double dip in action, I have to grab my spoon. Slide it to the side, if you know what I mean, fellas. Dip it. Dip them. Get them everywhere. Put them back. Get another one. Dip them. Don't burn yourself. Dip <laughs> them. Get a fork. Pull them out. Put them in there. Get you another one. Dip them. You don't have to go crazy and make a mess. This butter will just soak it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Checked off. Okay, next. Put the top back on. I know I make a mess, <laughs> but we'll cook it so it doesn't. Shake it around. Pop back on. Boom. Done. Boom. Uh, I hope it's good. Boom. Now hot. <laughs> Boom. Hot. Boom. And there's those little 
villains in this one too. So another Morales, Morales, uh, Oyster, another baby Oyster, I think. Yep. Maybe that was a Morales piece. Maybe I'm using a different kind of oil than somebody else would, or my temperature might be a little bit different. I'm kind of halfway on the scale, and I don't know. These are normal flour, so I'm not mad about it. They look good over here. They look pretty good. We're going to do a taste test here in a minute. Bye -bye. Well, that looks pretty darn good. Happy Mother's Day to you all. And I hope you find a feast such as this anywhere in the world. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, me and Mason. Mom's getting junior. And we're all going to smash. Thanks for watching Slockham Outdoors. Happy Mother's Day again. Okay, this is your first bite of morel that we're actually going to get a super good taste test out of. <laughs> Give it a shot, Mr. Mason. We tried octopus two weeks ago. What do you think of that morel right there, buddy? Is it yummy? Is it really good? Mm -hmm. Good. You got some more on your plate. We're going to get you some steak and asparagus. And we're going to fill you up. You always get the worst angle, right? Oh, the worst angle of you, my dear. Go ahead and get you a delicious bite. Give it a shot. You haven't really deliciously ate it. Is it good or is it okay? Or is it delicious? Delicious. Okay. <laughs> I can go with that. There it is, folks. Smashed. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know what happened there for a minute. We got like a delayed income. Oh. My bite is now with this. I don't know, man. It's been a long time. Ugh. That big one. <laughs> it tastes like a morale. Very earthy morel. Not when it's like cooked. 